Hello everyone, my name is Nathan, this is Coffee Cup Spreadsheets, and this will be a tutorial of the vehicle maintenance log and schedule. If you would like to purchase this template, there will be a link in the description. And if you have already purchased it, we'll get right to the tutorial. I do have some detailed instructions included, but if you're more of a uh, visual learner, this will be for you. So right here is our setup tab. This is going to include all of the maintenance items as well as our repair budget, which we will come back to this. Um, maintenance items, you know, you will add in according to your car's uh, maintenance schedule. That will be usually in the glove box next to the owner's manual. If you don't have that, you could Google your uh, vehicle's make and model year, and you'll most likely be able to find something that... Uh, has a list of maintenance items. It will look sort of like this. Um, it might be uh, a little cleaner, a little more uh, in a table format, but you can see here, this is a Toyota Camry uh, maintenance schedule. And you know, you'll know you see things like every 30,000 miles, you'll want to replace the cabin air filter. Um, every 5,000 miles, you'll want to replace uh, the engine oil and filter, things like that. So you'll add those here, and then throughout these other tabs, these will pull, these drop downs will pull from that. So if we want to see here, we can go to the first vehicles maintenance tab, and we can look at this drop down, and then we can look at these maintenance performed tiles. You can see all of it here, and then we can add, let's add a test. And then back over here, we can see that the test now appears. So let's take that off. All right, moving on to setting up kind of your first car's uh, maintenance tracker. So up in the top, we'll have just some basic information, your, your make, model, your current mileage, and then your estimated miles that you'll drive per year if you drive into work every day, it's probably gonna be anywhere from 12 to 20,000 miles a year that you'll drive. And this calculation right here is important because uh, some formulas will calculate our average cost per month based off of your mileage. Um, so we can, we can revisit that here in a minute. Now we have all of these maintenance tiles going across the top. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to take your car's maintenance schedule and set up these tiles kind of in a similar way that that maintenance schedule is laid out. So you don't, you don't have to have the tire pressure check. It's just on here um, just as an example. But your, your oil change, your tire rotation, that's going to be the most common uh, car repairs. And so, you know, you'll, you'll select oil change from this. On row five here, you're going to type in your maintenance interval. So if you have an older car, you might need to replace the oil every 5,000 miles. And if you have a newer car, it might be every 10 or 15,000 miles. So you'll just need to check your manual, see what it says. You'll kind of, you'll go across the top and you'll enter in every piece of maintenance here or just all the major ones that you would like to, uh, that you would like to hit and keep track of. Now over here, we can do an example of adding additional maintenance tiles. So I deleted the tires one, but we can we can add that back in. So you'll click these drop downs, you'll hit whichever piece you want. And then in the row five, you'll add in however many miles you need to replace your tires. So maybe 60, 70,000 miles. So we'll add in 70,000. All right, let's back up because that's not supposed to. There's formulas down in here that we shouldn't delete. All right, let's try that again. So whenever you're deleting these things out, it's important to remember, don't delete out the entire thing. Just delete out this cell here and this cell here and this cell here. Otherwise, you'll delete formulas that will make things not appear. So let's back that out and let's go to tires. And we'll say every 70,000 miles is the interval we want. And then 
on this last row, this is an estimated cost. So let's add in the estimated cost of uh, probably about $900. And you'll see now that this is a light green tile. This means that you will replace this uh, estimated. You're going to replace it after one year. Now, if your maintenance interval is within one year, it's going to match this kind of darker cream color here. If your maintenance is going to appear within six months, it'll be this orangish yellow, then we'll have this burnt orange, and then any maintenance coming due in the coming month will be this red color. Okay, so once you have all of these tiles set up, you can then come down here and enter in maintenance that's already been performed. So if you want to, if you know your car's history and you want to enter in some historical maintenance, you can do that, but it's not necessary. We can come in and say for these tire replacement, let's say we replaced it already at uh, 40,000 miles for whatever reason. And then our replacement, our mileage for next service, as you can see here, updated, it's going to be the 70,000 plus our 40,000 miles right here. And it will track that as your mileage right here increases. Let's say now you've come back in a few months and your mileage is now 65,000. This will update as well as all of these other tiles will update as well. So that's how this works. Um, you've got some notes section if you want to add in you know, what uh, maintenance shop you went to, uh, repair shop. If you didn't have a good experience, you can keep track of that so you know not to go back there next time. And that's as simple as it gets, guys. Um, you've got five cars built in to track already. If you would like to add in an additional car, uh, you can come in here and you can hit duplicate. And it will add in an additional tab. So again, I right clicked on this tab and I clicked duplicate. And then you can double click on the tab and you can change this to car six or just whatever you want to call it. And then you'll have additional cars and you can do that as many times as you like. I think Google Sheets has a limit of 300, 380 tabs. So you can go crazy and track a bunch of different cars. Coming back to this repair estimation budget, every tab on here has one. And again, it this tracks off of the estimated cost. So we have an average annual cost, which has some formulas, and it'll, it'll average out the cost. So if you do four oil changes in a year and you add in the actual cost, it'll take the average of it. But our estimation is going to, our estimation budget is going to base off of the estimated cost. So you could just match your average actual cost to your estimated cost here, and then this will update accordingly. Now then, going back to the setup tab, as you can see here, this is going to pull from this first tab. You can see this $1,805 is going to match up here. And if you, you know, if you're a family of four or five, you have multiple cars or whatnot, and you want to get an idea of how much you may need to budget for for your car repair expense in the next one, three, 12 months. Uh, this is a great tool to do that. If you would like to add an additional car, this car six to that, you will have to come in here, click on this row, then you'll right click and click insert one row above. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this. We're going to highlight. Again, this was car five's row, just the row right above it. We're going to hit control C. We're going to come down here and hit control V. And now, see, this is going to pull in from car five, but we don't want car five. So we want to rename this to car six. All right. And then from here, we can copy. So again, control C. Highlight this whole range and click Control V. And now, as you see, it's car six and it's going to pull from the appropriate uh, row and column from car six's maintenance log. 
And then coming over here, you want to copy this formula as well and bring it down. So again, that's a control C, hold control, click C to copy, control V to paste. And then you can name this uh, Word Explorer, whatever you'd like to name it, um, right. Car 6. So this is the Google Sheets version. This is by Miles. I also have two other versions. I've got one with kilometers, which is basically the same. Everything throughout is just renamed to kilometers. And then the other version that I have is by date. And so I'm going to show you the Excel version. Google Sheets version is exactly the same, um, but just to show you something different here. This is the Excel version, and this is by date. So it's going to look pretty similar, but there's a few key differences. So you still have your tiles. They don't have the arrows within them. Whenever you click, you're going to see the tile and you have all the same options. Same with down here. You can click, you've got the options. It just doesn't show a little arrow until you actually click into them. And then right here, instead of the replacement by miles, you're gonna have a replacement by month. So your oil change is gonna be every six to 12 months, something like that. You can go in and you can edit that. And then if that happens, you can just expand the cell. And then this is going to, sh this date right here is going to do some math to uh, let you know when you need to uh, change your oil. So let's say it's 12 months. Uh, this right here says it's overdue. So we'll we'll move on to the tire rotation example because it's, it's a little bit different. So if it's red, it means it's overdue and you need to get it changed. If it's uh, orange, light green, dark green, you're good. And this right here tells you, uh, uses today's date, and it tells you how many months and days until your next service. And right here is going to be your service date. And this will schedule out uh, just all your service by date for all of these maintenance items. Again, so we can we change this to uh, let's say 15 months you can see that this jumps up by uh, you know several months to go from let's see this was 12 I think that's three months going from 12 to 15 and that's the uh, that's the version by date. It's kind of cool. Some of the formulas that uh, you can do in here again, you know, if you add in uh, your maintenance item and then the date of the repair, it will pick that up and it will factor that into the calculation. Again, similar setup. You've got your maintenance items here. You've got your repair estimation budget here. Um, this one here sums up uh, just your less than one year maintenance items right here. Um, just an extra little uh, piece that you can keep an eye on for whenever you budget. Again, guys, this is a great tool to help you stay organized with managing your car's maintenance, especially if you have three or four cars that you're trying to juggle maintenance on. Just keep it all in one place. It has a record of when you've done repairs last, it's got a record of what repairs you'll need to do in the future. It's super helpful. And then when it comes time to sell your cars, if you sell uh, just on Facebook Marketplace, you'll have those records of maintenance that you can provide. Again, there are instructions, written instructions here in case you want to come back and read, um, rewatch, skip around to whichever part that you need. If you have any other questions or want to see some additional um, functionality for the spreadsheet, just leave a comment below and I'll go through and see what I can do. I always try to make these spreadsheets more useful for everyone and uh, that would help out a lot. Thank you guys so much.